Hello, Claudita. Good evening. Hello, Claudita. Can you listen to me? Hello, Marvin. Hello, Lorena. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Well, very good. Welcome everybody to this class. I hope all your other classmates are going to connect in a moment. I am very happy to have you here. Thank you very much for uh, being on time. Thank you for coming on time and for sure for being here and for practicing every single day. Well, we are going to start our class with our class agreements, right? And we are going to work on them a little bit. Remember that our class agreements are practice your English as much as possible, right? Oh, Juan Carlitos is in, uh, is working. Oh my God, okay. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep your microphones off if you're not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Remember to participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group that I know that you always do it. Thank you very much for that. Well, yesterday, my dear students, we were talking about uh, the different parts of the body at the end of the class, right? We were talking about the different parts of the body and we were practicing them a little bit, okay? So in here, hello, Ruth, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your message on the chat. That's nice, right? We were working a little bit on the different parts of the body and we were talking that we have different names for each of the parts, right? And you might say, teacher, yeah, we have different names of the parts of the body. But in some cases, we have difficulties to pronounce them. ¿Tenemos dificultad para pronunciar alguno de los que les estoy mostrando ahorita? In some cases, you can mark it with the pen, right? En su plataforma tienen la opción de un lapicito que pueden marcar alguno que no conozcan, right? So you can use it. Claudia, you are back. Yay. Al fin la vemos. <laughs> no la habíamos visto. Hola, teacher. Hello, 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 Joanne. Tell me. Este, no, no, no podré estar en el video así, pero la voy a escuchar porque ando manejando. Okay. Yes, Be careful, Joanna. Be careful. Okay. Tenga cuidado. No, no me voy a poner ahí. Quiero ver la cámara. No, de la. No. Quiero ver qué dice. Okay. Trot. Trot. This is trot. Okay. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Yes, trot. Trot. Gargan. The throat. Ah, garganta. The throat, right? The throat. 
Any other one? That you don't know how to pronounce? Ah, I have more. Wrist. 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 Throat, uh huh. Wrist. Uh huh. The other ones for sure you have thumb. This one. Thumb. Thumb is this one, right? The thumb. El dedo gordo. The thumb. Then uh, you have hand, fingers, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, head. It's not a stomach, okay? A stomach. Head, eye, ear, nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, chin, throat, neck, throat, neck, wrist, wrist, wrist arm, 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 elbow, elbow, elbow. elbow. Teacher, una pregunta. Yep. Eh, de, no sé si es en esta o en algunas o para diferenciar más bien cuando la terminación es ch o sea no sé eh, por ejemplo watch termina en ch y se, se ocupa el sonido de la ch verdad pero acá por qué es solo con la c stomach ok stomach in this case because watch has the t sound before in this case eh, antes de la CH tiene la T. Entonces la T es la que hace el sonido más fuerte en el caso de watch. Right? Watch. And the T is the, the, the one that makes a difference. In this case, you have a vowel. And you have is stomach. Stomach. Okay. That's the main difference. Gracias, teacher. Yeah, the consonant. Definitely. Thank you very much. So here, in this case, we have... I, we have more. You have the leg, the knee, the ankle, yes. the knee. The knee is the rodillita, right? Knee. The knee. The knee. Qué raro. Yeah. <laughs> the knee. En la rodilla. Ankle is this one, right? El tobillo. Ankle. And foot is only one. And feet are the two. Okay. And the toes are these, the little fingers of your foot, okay? Good, but I have more, right? Más allá de todos estos, I have more here. Here I have another picture on which I have the eyebrow, right? The eyebrow is this part of your face, right? Sus cejas, the eyebrow. The cheek, the cheek, son sus cachetitos, right? The cheek. Cheek. That in some cases you're like, oh, Oh, that you want to squeeze the cheek of someone and you are like, gosh, the cheek, right? The chin, the eye, yeah. the mouth. The mouth is everything, right? Chest, arm, wrist, the palm, the palm of your hand, the leg, the foot, right? And the knee. The Como knee. dijo que se decía para las mujeres? Ah, breast, breast, breast. Uh -huh. breast. Como breastfeeding es dar pecho, dar de comer al niño, right? Breast. Uh -huh. And when you say breastfeeding, Breast. breastfeeding is amamantar. Uh -huh. That's the verb for that. The forehead. What is the forehead, people? Is this part of your face? Aquí, la peseta. Right? You have frente. your forehead. La frente. <laughs> la frente, right? ¿Cuántos dedos tenés que tener de frente? Cinco. Cinco. No, diez dedos de frente. The forehead. The nose, right? The lips are the this part of your of your mouth, right? The lips. The head in general, right? The head. The ear, su oreja. The neck that I was talking about this yesterday, right? The neck. Uh, the shoulder, sus hombros. The shoulder, the elbow, the elbow, the hip, like Shakira, Shakira, right? The hips, las hips. caderas, hips, hips. The forearm, the forearm, that it's this one that we have right here. The forearm es el antebrazo, this part of your arm, right? The tight, okay, the tight is el muslo. Right? Tight. The tight. 
And the call is la pantorrilla, right? The call, call, this one, the call. Here we have the toe, right? The toe, que son los deditos de los pies. The, okay, this one, this is important. Here you have the chin and the shin. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre este? Chin, que es este, la quijada. Chin, un sonido corto, rápido. And this one is the shin. Que es la, in good Salvadorian, la chimpinilla. The shin. Shin. It's longer, the sound, right? The shin. And this one is ching. The ching. Eh, the ankle and the heel. Heel es el talón. Heel significa talón. Por eso las mujeres ocupan high heels. High heels. Zapatos de tacón. Zapatos de tacón, que es talón alto, right? High heels. High heels. Oh, uh, ayer con el head and shoulders y hoy con los high heels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What an elegant cat, the one that you have, Claudia. Miren el gato de la Claudia, tiene más elegancia sí. para las fotos que yo. Sí. Oh, <laughs> That's so cool. So, these are the different parts of the body. Here, for example, you have the eyebrows that are these ones, and the eyelashes are the ones that are on your eye, right? Eh, que, que las mujeres tenemos, pero queremos tener otras encima de las que ya tenemos. Right? Ah, the, the eyelashes. And then you are like... Pero no las suban atrás de un picket porque las pierden. The eyelashes, right? The eyelashes. The eyelid es el párpado. Eyelid. Se lo puede enviar al chat para que lo tengan. Right? The eyelid. And the... Eyelashes. eyelashes and I uy, I is only with one Y sorry okay any other part of the body that you don't know how to say alguna otra parte del cuerpo que no sepamos cómo se dice you have for sure the back que es la espalda right the back y este entre piernas cómo está ahí dice the, okay the belly button the that is the I how to call that it, ha, <laughs> it has a the specific name in English it is the no it's not tight it is let me just clarify the writing because I remember how to say it but I want to write it correctly give me another one so meanwhile I look for it Deme otro, mientras encuentro este. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Antebrazo. It's forearm. Forearm. Aquí lo tenemos. Forearm. Another one. I like. I like. Dijo que significa. Eyelash. Eyelash. Esa es pestañas. Oh, the, okay. the crutch. The crutch is la entrepierna, la ingle, right? The crutch. And the belly bottom es el ombligo. The belly bottom, ahí se los envié en el chat, de zoom, es el ombligo. Any other one? Belly bottom. The belly bottom es el ombligo. Belly. The back es la espalda. Any other one? Columna. Okay, that is the backbone. Backbone. Here you have it. It's the backbone. The backbone. Y cadera. Hips. Aquí está, por aquí, aquí la tienen. Aquí está. Hips. Hips. Any other one? Hombros, teacher. Shoulders, shoulders. 
El último, backbone. Backbone, backbone digo, es este. columna. Ah, ok, bueno, columna. Columna. Okay. Okay. And the next one. <laughs> that is the butt. The butt. Y frente, teacher. For hell. For hell. Uh, but. The butt. <laughs> you have it there. I am going to send you this one here. Okay. On the chat, I send you a, a link that is very good for you to get uh, also a little video and some of the parts of the body there. On the link that I sent you there, you can find a lot more vocabulary, right? But uh, I am going to continue sharing. What are the nostrils, people? What do you think are the nostrils? It's this part of your nose. These are your nostrils. Los, los agujeritos de su nariz. These are the nostrils. Nostrils. Any other one? Okay. These ones, for example. Teacher. Yes. Tobillo. That is ankle. 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 Okay. The, okay. The knuckles are these ones. The knuckles are these ones. Knuckles. This part of your body. These are the knuckles. Nudillos. Los nudillos. Uh -huh. The knuckles. And let me see. The heart, you know what it is, right? The heart. Su corazoncito. No es así, obviamente, pero that, that's the representation. The lungs, the lungs are su pulmones, right? The lungs. The lungs. The brain, the brain is the one that you are using right now to understand everything that I am saying. Cerebro. Yes. The liver. The liver is the one that suffers a lot for some people in Christmas, right? El hígado. <laughs> it suffers a lot, right? And also, if you don't drink agüita, the kidneys are going to suffer, right? Kidneys are... How do you call that? The ones that suffer because of water? Riñones, right? The kidneys. And let me see... The thong, it's very important, right? The thong is this one, right? The thong. Su lengua, right? That is the meaning of thong. Thong. Okay. <laughs> Any other one that you have questions about? <laughs> Cover Ay, your sí. body. <laughs> if, you, frío. if you don't cover your body, you are going to be cold, right? <laughs> okay, pero ¿a dónde vive Claudia? Porque está haciendo un calor. Aquí en lo urdes, pero está haciendo frío. Oh, really? Se levanta tapada la nariz. Oh, Fiche. my God. Uh -huh. You know, Tom es el dedo grande. The thumb, yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Y lengua? No, this is thong. Thong. Ahí se los envié en el chat. Es la última. Thong. Okay. This one is thumb. Thumb with T-H-U-M. Gracias. Ok. And the difference is going to be on the context. Aun cuando suenen similar, obviamente con lo que estén hablando y el contexto de lo que estén hablando, les va a servir. Porque si de repente alguien le dice, hey, si les gustó, denme un thumbs up. No, es decir... Uh la lengua arriba, right? Uh -huh. The thumbs up, it's like dedos arriba. But it's like, hey, that kid showed me the thong and I was just fighting with him. He did the uh, thing. He showed me the thong. He was like, uh. 
Hasdat Hamdan Bueno, dice, Chase. dame los puños. ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, this is a fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist, fist es puño. Fist. Ah. A fist bump. Bump es esta acción. De golpear. Bump. Fist bump. bump. Fist bump. Okay. So there you have the example here. Any other question with the parts of the body, people? ¿Alguna otra pregunta con las partes del cuerpo? No? Sure. Hoy hay un montón que no los puedo ver. Hoy no puedo ver a Marvin, a Odilia, no puedo ver a Silvia, ni a Desmisí, ni a Juan, ni a Ana, ni a Arabella, ni a Janet. Ya veo a Denis, muy bien. A Alejandro medio lo veo, está moviendo. But that's cool. Okay. So please keep your cameras on. Don't, don't worry, that's okay, but I can see you. Okay, good. Well, before we continue with the topic, I am going to call the attendance. Okay, le voy a pasar lista antes de que sigamos con este tema porque sigue todavía mucho más allá. Okay. So, let me see. Mm, I am in advance. Okay, no, no, no. And... Present teacher. Present. Alejandro. Thank you, Alejandro. You are so cool. You are the first one I always know. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Alejandro Jovel. Present teacher. Ana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Arabella. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Carmen Vanessa. Claudia Iris. Present. Denis Eliseo. Present teacher. Eli Antonio. Present. Eneida. Present teacher. Janet. Present. Thank you. Present teacher. Jennifer Alexandra. Jennifer. Joana Damaris. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Diana. Present. Lorena. Here. Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Odilia. Odilia Zuleima. Raúl Antonio. Present teacher. Ruth Marielos. Here teacher. Thank you. Let me see. Hay people I saw Odilia. But, well, okay. Yo la vi que aquí estaba, pero no sé qué se me hizo. Okay, let's continue. And Raúl Antonio, yes. Thank you. And Sandra Georgina. Ruth Mariel. Yes, right. Sandra Georgina, no. Here's Silvia. Thank you. Silvia Lisette. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, let me see. Sandrita is not here. Sandrita, Odilia, but I don't know what happened. Eh, Jennifer Alexandra, Carmen Vanessa, and that's it. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Raul, did I call you yesterday? Raul Antonio? Sí, vea. Yes. Yes, yes, okay. Good. So let's continue here, my dear class. Now that we know about the parts of the body, we are going to do a little practice on this one. And you don't have to actually stand up or many other things to do it, but I need you to pay attention to this. People, I need you to point at, point at, señalen, señalen esta parte en su cuerpo, right? Si lo pueden hacer ahí en la cámara, that's perfect, right? I have many people that I cannot see. Hay muchos que todavía no puedo ver su cámara y les pido por favor que la activemos. Los que están trabajando, pues, sorry. Uh, no, right? <laughs> But for the rest, yes. Okay, people, I need you to show me or to point out on your hands. Which are your hands? The hands, 
plural, right? The hands. What about your ears? Your ears. Your ears, right? Your eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> My eyes. Did you... No, don't touch it, okay? Don't touch it. No se toquen las manos, ni la nariz, ni la boca. COVID. Thank you. Which are your cheek? No, cheek. The I cheek. Cheek. <laughs> this, is, this is cheek. Cheek. This one is ching. Ching, me equivoqué. Ching, okay. Can you show me or move your shoulders? <laughs> Your shoulders, right? Your shoulders. Good, 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 good. Your nose. The nose, right? The nose. What about the forehead? Forehead. Forehead. Right? The forehead. Si se fijan, ustedes tienen forehead, forearm, right? La frente que está delante de su cuerpo y el forearm que es el que está adelante de su brazo right the forearm the next one touch your stomach your stomach your stomach right touch your leg your leg the leg right ah, the leg move your feet you can move your feet, right? Sus piecitos, your feet. Show me your thong. The thong. Uh, show me your thong. <laughs> Con pena. <laughs> uh, but on the pictures, on the selfies. Aha, uh aha. -huh, aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. ¿Cómo es? Ajá. Ay, te Ajá. Yeah. Yeah, right. I believe. I believe. Okay. Now, I need you, please. I need you, please, to uh, move your fingers. Move your fingers. And show me your thumb. Your thumb finger. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, right? Thumbs up. Show me the palm of your hand. The palm of your hand, right? This is the palm of your hand. Yeah. Touch your eyebrows. The eyebrows, right? Y se la borra. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. No, you see, mire. They are, they are natural. Ah, no. Yeah, hay, mucha, hay muchas chicas que si se la tocan así, se borra. No, aquí no sucede porque todas son naturales. I love my girls, they are very beautifully natural. Okay, now this is only for the boys. Your mustache, the mustache, the mustache. El mostacho, right? Y las chicas, man, no, only for the boy. Empilamo. The mustache, right? <laughs> the next one. I need you please to touch your calf. Calf. Pantorrilla, the calf. You have it right here, it is, you say. And the sheen. The sheen. ¿Qué es la? All right. the, sheen. the sheen very good now with all these parts of the body nothing should be perfect right si todo estuviera perfecto con nuestras partes del cuerpo todo sería fabuloso but then there is one moment in life on which you become an adult right de ahí llega la adultez y de repente we are very crunchy Crack, crack, crack. Ah, oh. yes, ah. yes. La pasando la cinta, tío. Yeah, de después de los veinte. Eh? On the shoulder, on the shoulder. Ah, and then we have 
health problems that are related to the part of the body that we have. And this is very good to make a difference and that is important. The word ache, okay, the word ache, que es backache, se puede relacionar directamente con el lugar donde hay dolor, right? Say backache, okay? Lo usamos con back partes eight. específicas del cuerpo. A headache, it's like, ah, headache is un dolor en la cabeza. Okay, headache. I, I have a headache. A backache. Ah, oh, it's ah, oh, a backache. An earache. Ah, oh, teacher. Oh my god. An earache. Earache. Yo creo que así es. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación, teacher, de dolor de cabeza? Headache. I hear it. Headache. Headache. I have I have a headache, you say. A headache. Solo la palabra headache. like aquí la pronunciación H, H. No decimos Ajá. I have a backache. Okay? Or, or I have a headache. That's a very important thing to know that it is not correct. Say I have a headache. Yeah. Esta esta pronunciación H es ache. 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 Backache. 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 Eric. Eric. Headache. Eric. Stomachache. Ah, stomachache. Stomachache. A thuric. Thuric. Oh my God. A thuric, right? 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 But you cannot say, for example, I have an eye que me duele el ojo, un dolor en el ojo. No, right? Porque <laughs> it is not like that. But you can say, I have sore eyes. In that case, you don't say, I have an eye ache, right? You say, I have sore yeah. eyes. Sore es que estamos con dolor en esa área del cuerpo, right? I have sore eyes. You can say, I have sore throat. It's like, hey, I know, maybe I have COVID. I have sore throat, you say. That was very common during the pandemic, right? In the pandemic, you put your feet in the street and ya, eh, 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 I have sore throat. And maybe no one, 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 you can have sore eyes or you can have sore body. Todo el cuerpo te duele. Have, did you ever have a chikungunya or zika? Yes. Le dio, le dio zika or chikungunya? Sí, horrible, teacher. Yes. Horrible. I saw so, body. You had sore body. Sore everything, body. everything was like, I, ah, existing was painful. A la fecha. <laughs> oh my God. That's terrible. Sorry. Sorry to know. Right? Sí, es horrible. Dolor. Es dolor de. Dolor de garganta. Dolor de. ¿Y dolor en los pies? I have sore feet. Right? Ah, I have okay. sore feet. No decimos feet ache. No, right? You have sore feet. Sore feet. Okay? That's the way. Sore feet. For the y, most common... O sea que eh, en las partes de arriba es que solo se dice eh, como dolor de cabeza, dolor de espalda. Uh, se me olvidó la pronunciación. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, no, no, no. Son para, para problemas de salud específicos. Por ejemplo, cuando tenemos dolor de espalda, we have, I have a backache, you say. Ah, porque es un dolor en toda la espalda en general. No es que solo un pedacito de la espalda le duela. Okay. I, I have a backache, you say. Oh, I have a headache that all your head in general hurts. I have a stomachache. All your stomach hurts. Okay. I have a thudic. Only one tooth hurts. Okay. So for specific things, 
For the next ones, for example, in the case of these ones, you say, I have a cold. Tengo un resfriado. Un resfriado. A cold. I have a cold. A cold. I have a cough. I have a cough. Cállate. I have a cough. Tengo I have a cough. I have a cough. I have a fever. I have a fever. I have Fiebre. the flu. I, I have the flu. Vaya. Flu. I Vaya. have. Ese es gripe. I have the flu. Yes. Okay. A cold is just like a chew, a chew, and that's it, right? Uh, loratadina, clorfenilamina, and that's it. Right? That was a mini cold, un resfriado. But the flu is like gripe. Right? The ladies with the flu is like, ah, sí, ando una gran gripe, fíjate, pero ah, ¿qué ando? The boys with the flu. Hello, <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, it's the death. It's the death. Atropellado. Yeah, definitely. Tráeme un papel que va a ser el testamento. <laughs> and they are they are about to die. Yeah. And for sure, the last one is a sore throat. And throat. something mm. that they have in common is that they use the word a ah before. A backache, an earache, a headache, a stomachache, a toothache, a cold, a cough, a fever. The only one that is different is the flu. So you have the flu. You don't say, I have a flu. No, you have the flu. You have sore eyes. As well, along with these ones, you can have many other ones. Diarrhea, for example, right? Constipation. You can have constipation. But in Spanish, when you say that you are constipated, is that you cannot go to the restroom, right? Si en español usted dice, es que ando como constipado. And it is that you cannot go to the bathroom, right? You cannot go to the restroom. But in English, when you say, I am constipated, is that you have your nose block of, of, uh, of snot, right? So that is when you are constipated, cuando tiene la nariz tapada, no que tenga otra cosa tapada, right? <laughs> Only the nose. And that is uh, important to know. And when you have, for example, I have, what else? What other problem can you have, people? ¿Qué otros eh, problemas de salud pueden tener? Mm. Dolor de rodillas. I have, si entonces tenemos dolor de la rodilla, I have, decimos, needed. Needed. Or, no, decimos, sore knee. Sore, sore knee. Si sí. es una knee. parte específica del cuerpo, sore knee. Ajá, uh -huh. another sore one. Knee. Teacher, ¿y qué, ¿qué significa con just it? <laughs> Where is it? Mm -hmm. Congested. Congested. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Congested. <laughs> no, es que si me sale en el, en el traductor que he tapado la nariz. Ah, no, no, no. Uh, Constipado. Constipated, you say. Constipated. Constipated. Vaya, Constipated. La nariz. Constipated. But it, you have to be very careful with that because uh, in that one, it's just for English, okay? No le vas a decir, ¿cómo andas? Ando bien constipado en español. It's a different thing, right? Uh, in Spanish, it's different, 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 right? You can have, you can have as well, you can have allergy. I have an allergy, you say. Allergy. 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 I uh, have an allergy. allergy. Claudia, I have a, she have a, she is a allergy. Okay, okay, okay. Si decimos. Yes, Clau okay, I okay. have an allergy. Wait, espere, se lo voy a poner en la pizarra mejor para que lo veamos todo. If you say, okay, vamos a agarrar el ejemplo de Alejandro para aprender todos de todos. 
si decimos, ok, if we say, ah, ok, lo voy a poner literal. Cloud, ok, let me just write it here. Ok, ya voy a escribir sin poner el boleto. Claudia is an allergy. Si decimos Claudia is an allergy, ¿qué estamos diciendo? Que Claudia, Claudia es una alergia. Claudia es una alergia. Es like, ay, me ha dado Claudia, fíjate. No, you cannot have Claudia as an allergy. Right? You say, Claudia tiene has an has. allergy. Has an allergy. Claudia has an allergy. Ella tiene una alergia. And if I say, for example, Nati, I am going to write my own example. Nati has a headache. I don't have it, but it's just an example. Nati has a headache. Tiene un dolor de cabeza. Cabeza. Right? And for example, you can say here, uh, it's just an example, Janet, okay? Janet has a Asthma. And you're like, <gasps> and you have difficulties to breathe, right? And in this case, you don't say an asthma, right? She has asthma. The next yeah, one. Has, has, has. Asthma. 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 Right? Asthma. Asthma. Asthma, como en español, right? Asthma. asthma. And there are many others that are like more uh, complicated. You say, and like cancer is the same, right? Cancer, eh, diarrhea. These are a little bit more complicated, right? Diarrhea, right? And let me see. Ah, I have heartburns. What is the meaning of these heartburns? Esas son, eh, how do you call this? The heartburn is like a burning sensation, right? Cuando siente como un quemor de la de, de toda su parte que uh, it is like all the digestive area, right? Todo el sistema digestivo. Hubo gástrico. Aha, but how do you call that in, in Spanish? Gastritis. Heartburns. Gastritis. Heartburns. It's like eh, that you feel that, right? Gastritis or reflujo. That it's heartburn. I have a rash, you say. A rash is when you are... Como salpullido. Exactly like that, right? I have... I have a rash, right? I have a sprain. I have a sprain. A sprain ankle. Okay, I have a sprained ankle. I was walking normally when my ankle said, ay, que aburrido, y si me doblo, right? <laughs> and then that is a sprain, the action of falling down because uh, your ankle turned aside, right? No sé si les ha pasado algún día que ustedes van caminando normal y de repente, pla, tobillo doblado. It is like a very crazy thing, right? But... Bye. Yeah, it is, it's really common. La delgadita. Yes. And I have a, two different things. For example, ache. What is the difference between ache and pain, right? That in these cases you have ache, that it's a prolonged pain, right? Es un dolor más prolongado cuando ocupamos la palabra ache. Ache. Como, I have a headache. Okay, te dura como un montón de tiempo y no se te quita. I have a backache. Right? I have a toothache. And when you say, I have sore eyes. Sabemos que si nos ponemos gotas, por ejemplo, that's it. Pasa. I have sore throat. Maybe with some tea. That's it. Right? Agarramos la diferencia entre ache y sore. Ajá. Sí, teacher. Ya. Yeah, so que ache... sor es para un lugar específico. Ajá. Y ache es para eh, algo global. Exactly. Algo and, más grande. Yes. And another difference, sor es para un dolor corto, muy pasajero, pero ache es un dolor más, plor, más prolongado. 
Ah, okay. That is that is something that that we need to remember. So these are other okay. examples. Yes. Hay una, perdón, excuse me. Eh, hay una palabra en específico que signifique dolor. Pain. Y ajá, no se puede utilizar en, en esa oración, digamos. Okay. O lo más que... Ajá. Ajá, porque así como lo hablamos nosotros en español, va, me duele tal cosa y todo. Yeah. Uh, in English, for example, you cannot say, I have a pain in my head. It's like, no, no tenés un pain in your head. You have a headache. Ah, okay. Es como que diga, tengo un dolor en la parte de arriba de mi cara, de mi cabeza. Ah, tenés dolor de cabeza. Ajá. <laughs> so, it is the same. Aquí nos cabe el mismo, el, el, esa misma realidad. Si decimos, pain. You can say, I am in pain. I am in pain. O sea, cuando decimos esta frase, I am in pain, es que andas como, como adolorido. But you don't know what, but you have the pain, right? But if you have a specific part of, it, of the body with the pain, and you can name it, it's better to use. Si de repente usted tiene un dolor en una parte específica, al menos en el inglés son bien, eh, bien como puntuales en eso. Ah, ¿te duele la espalda? Backache. ¿La cabeza? Headache. ¿Las orejas? Eric. Eh, ¿Los dientes? Tudic. But if you say, doctor, I have a pain in the body. I have sore body. Ajá. Entonces tenemos que buscarle como no traducirlo, pero sí buscarle la correlación con el nombre. So in English, you have to be very specific with the vocabulary. El inglés eso tiene, que es bien, es bien este quisquilloso con eh, el vocabulario y si existe una palabra para eso mejor ocupemos la, la palabra y se le dice I have a pain in my ear ajá o sea te duele la, la, la oreja aquí de afuera no inside ah you have an earache you say tiene dolor de oídos ah ya yeah. so that's, that's the difference no sé si le respondo su pregunta Carlitos Yes, teacher. Okay, so if you have a name for that, use it. Si tiene nombre, llámelo por su nombre. Okay, a headache, a backache, a headache, a stomachache, right? Here you have asthma, <laughs> backache, ah, a broken leg, una pierna quebrada, a cold, right? A cough, an earache, a fever, the flu. Right? Poor lady there with the flu. Here you have a headache. Heartburns. It's like, <clears throat> my God. Misless. Misless is varicela or sarampión. Misless is sarampión. Misless. Misless. Sarampión. Yeah. A rash. <laughs> that you have been scratching, right? Yeah. A sore throat. Okay. Stomachache, sunburn, imagínese si se duerme a la orilla del majahual y se le olvida ponerse el bloqueador, sunburn. And athletic, athletic, athletic. And here you have the way to ask and answer. Here you have, what's the matter? What's wrong? How are you? How do you feel? Esas son las cuatro preguntas que puede hacerle a alguien que ve ahí por ejemplo, usted entra todos los días a la oficina y Nati ahí bien feliz, eh, eh, eh. pero entra un día a la oficina y Nati. Ah. Ah, ah. What's wrong? What's the matter? How do you feel, Nati? I have the flu. I am very sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Feel better. Here you have a palagrip. <laughs> so what is the question right what's wrong what's the matter how are you how do you feel nowadays you can say I am depressed and that's a health problem I'm anxious you say and that's another health problem but in that case you don't say I have an anxious para los adjetivos para expresar como nos sentimos no decimos, I have an anxious, I have an depression, right? 
say, I feel, I feel, me siento, I feel anxious. Okay, I feel anxious. I feel depressed. I feel demotivated. I feel sad. Okay, and that can be an illness. How do you feel? What's wrong? What's the matter? ¿Qué tenés? ¿Qué te pasa? Right? Si en cinco Teacher, minutos. ¿Qué uh -huh. significa matter? What's the matter? ¿Qué, qué pasó? ¿Qué matter. Tenés? What's the matter? Uh, okay. Okay. What's the matter is a phrase that you use. And in general, it's like, ¿cuál es el problema? ¿Qué tenés? Right? What's the matter? It's like, what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? Matter is problema. Okay. In that case, what's the matter? It's like, ¿qué, qué pasa? ¿Qué te, ¿Cuál es el problema? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. And Teacher, how are you? Pero yeah. este matter es eh, únicamente para enfermedades. In this case, yes. Cuando lo ocupamos así, sí. Cuando decimos, Ajá, what's the matter? Ajá. Tra uh -huh. Es tra trouble. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es problema. Yes. And the Pero problem ese... as well. Ajá. Ah, okay. son sinónimos. Yes, but in this case, for example, eh, ok, imagínense que ve a alguien, imagínense que llega y ve a, a Joana en el escritorio y le dice, Joana, ¿cuál es su problema? Nothing. I am sick. Dice, en el español, cuando ya lo ocupamos como en español, si decimos, Ruth, ¿cuál es tu problema? Es la que, ¿qué? Ninguno, estoy enferma. Pero si yo le digo, what's the matter? ¿Qué tenés? It's different. What's wrong? ¿Hay algo malo? ¿Te sentís mal? What's wrong? Okay, it's different. What's the problem? Uh -huh. Algo what's... así como, eh, be quiet and shut up. Exactly like that. Ok, uh -huh. si usted llega y ve a dos compañeros peleando, ahí sí. Hey, people, what's the problem here? Ok, you can use it like that. What's the problem? In that case, yes. Pero si ve a alguien enfermo, what's wrong? What's the matter? How are you? How do you feel? Ok, those are the most recommended for, ok, for this one. <coughs> And, hey, she has a cough. You see? She has a cough. Por ahí alguien contó. She has a cough. I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. If it is for a third person, si estamos hablando de una tercera persona, ¿cómo decimos? She. She. She has a headache. Right, she a has headache. a headache. She has a headache. And in this one, you say she, she feels sick. Okay, she feels sick. In this case, you have to transform the verb, right? She feels sick. She, she feels, feels sick. awful. Awful. It's like más que mal. She feels awful. It's like, oh, por favor. Right, awful. Terrible. Terrible is more than awful. And miserable is when you have when you have chica, when you have chikungunya, and when you have cough. Si tiene chica y chikungunya y le da tos. You are miserable. Imagínese el combo. That you cannot move and you're like... <coughs> See? Miserable. On the contrary, you have other adjectives that can be positive. Say, hey, how are you? How do you feel? Fine. Great. Fantastic. Terrific. Right? Terrific is a positive adjective. Okay? Terrific. Maravilloso. Super bien. Right? So that is the difference. Now, I need you please to think about the different forms that I have been explaining and we are going to move to a little exercise that I have here and I have this one right here let me just move here okay. 
I need you to think about this. What do you have? I have a headache. How do you feel? I feel terrible. Say, invent one of these sentences. What do you have? Escojan un problema de salud. Cualquiera de los que todos los que vimos ahora. What do you have and how do you feel? Esas son las dos preguntas que yo le voy a hacer. What do you have and how do you feel? Okay? Let me see. I need you to think. Okay? Escríbanlo primero en su cuaderno. What do you have and how do you feel? What do you have? How do you feel? An answer, right? Y de ahí contesten. What do you have and how do you feel? Okay. Think about it. You can say, I have a headache. I have a backache. I have a thoracic teacher. I have sore eyes. I have sore throat. I have many other things. I'm going to put them here. Okay. Ahí lo voy a ir pasando para que lo vayan bien. What do you have and how do you feel? <coughs> you see, hmm? you have real life examples. Tiene ejemplos de la vida Ay, real. Donde coger ejemplos, teacher. I can see. I can see. And I am going to send you this as well. Le voy a enviar este otro también. That it's um, another link for you to have it. Okay. And maybe you can choose examples from there. I feel stressed, did you? What do you have and how do you feel? Hay algo más grande que terrible, teacher. Terrible. Miserable. Miserable. It's like. <laughs> Please. No, no, God, no. Ay, Dios, tenés otros guerreros, por favor. No me. ¿Cómo se dice en la segunda? Awful. En, la, en, la, en las negativas, adjetivos. Oh, Después awful. De awful. 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 ¿Qué significa? Ok, sick es enfermo. Awful es sí. like me siento horrible, me siento mal. Awful. Awful. Me siento terrible. Uh, terrible is like, ay, no, me siento terrible. That's in Spanish, right? <coughs> But awful is like, me siento mal. Me siento mal, mal, mal. Terrible, it's more than bad. And miserable, uh, please, no, not anymore. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Por favor, ya no, ya no puedo. <laughs> terrible. I feel a bit, bit bitter. <laughs> I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. ¿Y eso I qué feel... significa? Ok, si ya mañana usted amanece sin alergia, I feel better. Mucho mejor. Mucho mejor, right? I feel homesick. Homesick is when you travel, for example. When you travel to another country. And you go and you say like, ah, El Salvador, I miss the pupusas. I want quesadilla. I want salpores. I miss my family. And then you start crying because you feel homesick. Homesick. And I don't feel very well. It's like, mm, no, no estoy mejorando. En vez de mejorar, voy empeorando. I don't feel very well. Okay. <laughs> es que te ves pálido. <laughs> Traigan una Coca-Cola. <laughs> That is the magic medicine, right? So, how do you feel 
what do you have and how do you feel? Okay, I am going to ask this type of questions to each of you tomorrow when we start the class, okay? <coughs> Para mañana que empecemos la clase, esta va a ser nuestra introducción. And I'm going to say, eh, for example, just like, Nati, eh, what do you have? I know, I have a bad cake. Ugh. Okay, and how do you feel? I, 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 <laughs> I feel <laughs> miserable, right? I feel miserable. I, I, I want to go to the doctor. I, I cannot do it, right? I'm, I feel very bad. So you have to answer those two questions. What do you have and how do you feel? Okay, that will be tomorrow, first time in class. So thank you, my dear students, for being here. I am going to see you tomorrow for your sick class. Okay, mañana todos van a venir enfermo. But only for the example, okay? Only for the example. No quiero a nadie de que, me echo la sal, teacher. Sí, no. <risa> Una pregunta. No, no, mamá, puede conectar caso... mañana. <risa> y Ajá. en el caso de las personas que, se po o sea, toman y al día siguiente de goma, ¿cómo se dice? I have a hangover. I have a hangover. Lo vamos a copiar. Ahí. Hang oh. <risa> hangover. Hangover. Mañana la vamos a decir así, teacher. Teacher, ahí va. Todo eso para el lunes. Hangover. Para el Todo el 25. <risa> Ay, cómo. Eso solo los peces del río. Ok. <risa> only, only los peces del río, ok. For Jesus, they say. <laughs> because he was born. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I will see you tomorrow or the next night. Yes, Lorenita. Este, dice que yo necesito que me explique algo, pero lo voy a escribir por WhatsApp. Explíqueme, le digo. Aquí para todos, ¿qué quiere que le explique? <laughs> no, es que es otra cosa. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Good. Send me a message. Don't worry. Yeah, Have okay. a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <coughs>